What is up guys? We are back with yet another video about Delta Pro Ultra and today's video is gonna be pretty long but we're gonna cover a lot of details about this beautiful product. Now let's get started with the interior of this product. You can see the dimensions on the screen right here so it's not too big, it's not too small. I think it's a very reasonable size. The weight of it Weight is less reasonable, I would say. Uh, it's not light at all, and that's why we put it on the wheel, so it's really easy to move around. But the inverter itself is actually around 70 pounds. So it's manageable, but uh, you know, you don't want to carry it for way too far. However, the battery is really where the weight is, because this particular battery is LFB battery. It's 3,500 cycles of the charges and discharges until it goes to 80%. So this battery offers a very great longevity. Over 10 years, you can use it no problem. But also it comes with a great weight to it because it's 116 pounds and it's not light, I gotta tell you. And we designed this product this way so it can be stackable and expandable. So in fact, you can add more batteries here in between inverter and you know you put the second battery third battery fourth and fifth there are actually five batteries that can go under one inverter but we'll talk about this later right here this is a minimum setup for the delta pro ultra it's a 7.2 kilowatt of output like this and it has six kilowatt hours of capacity with this battery very strong more than enough to get you through the full house backup for a day or even two. And of course, what I mentioned just now is just the starting point for this system because you can keep expanding it. So you add five batteries under one inverter, you're at 30 kilowatt hours. For some houses with you know many rooms, a high energy consumption, many family members, that might not be enough. So you can actually put three of those systems together under same smart home panel and fit one house with 90 kilowatt hours capacity battery array and 21.6 kilowatt of output which is massive it's definitely more than enough to power all the high watt appliances and power hungry appliances in your house and with 90 kilowatt hours of capacity it's totally doable to have your one month power backup setup. All right, let's go through the other parts of the exterior of this product. And first of all, let's connect the inverter with the main unit. I mean, inverter with the battery. And for this purpose, we do have our own connectors here and a L-shaped cable. So unlike the Delta Pro first generation, the cables are not taking up any space and it's very, very, very tight, I would say. Very space effective. effective. So we do have clicker, so it doesn't, it's not coming off unless you press this little button here, but you can go an extra mile with that and even lock it right here. So there is no way to pull it out in any kind of circumstances. All right, let's turn it on. Okay, we have fully charged, 99%. Now let's go through the outlets that we have here, starting from the very top, we do have a couple of USB type C's with 100 watts of output. We have a couple of USB type A's if somebody's still using it, I guess people do. So that's also available here on top. Got a couple of buttons, so the AC inverter button and the DC on and off button. So let's talk about real business here. So we're looking at four AC outlets, 120 volts. Actually, this, you can take it off very conveniently. It's not broken. Click it back in place. We're also looking at the 30 amp port. Very familiar. Some of you Delta Pro users have seen it before on your units. And that's pretty standard. If you own an RV, it's very similar one with the shore power uh, outlet. And it's a 30 amp socket. So more power, more current in this socket. And the beauty of the Delta Pro Ultra is right here. We're looking at 240 volt outlet. So this is a high voltage outlet. It's called NEMA L L14, I believe. And it's very similar to the generator cord. And you can run a cord from here to your inlet box for that sake, or to any kind of high voltage appliance such as, I don't know, oven or 
electric dryer or things like this or even have a three-tone air conditioner powered by this unit so that's a powerhouse right here the whole spectrum of things you can power with delta pro ultra i cannot say 100 percent but it's probably 99.9 percent of appliances in your house this thing can run but of course that's not all because here behind this little mystery door we have more we have an anderson port that you guys like so much from a delta pro so we kept this so basically you can plug in a bare bone cables right into this port and this particular one is for uh putting a low voltage pv here pv stands for photovoltaic and translating in the normal people's language that's solar so you can plug in low voltage solar in here but more on solar later you charge this unit from ac socket outlet through this port and there is a little switch of fast charge and slow charge uh, you can also adjust it in the app and guess what is this screw for i'll give you three seconds to write a comment what is this bare screw for three two one some of you were wrong, but some of you were right. This screw is for ground connection, of course. Now let's take a look at the other side, mystery door. And we have nothing in here because that something is in here. And it's not a USB stick, not a flash drive. This is actually a 4G dongle. So you can have a SIM card in here and plug this right here like that so your delta pro ultra can be connected to internet without wi-fi without bluetooth without anything you can keep it connected to the internet so let's say you put it in the basement where wi-fi signal is bad but you also you know on your road trip or somewhere you want to make sure you turn that turn some of the power on or off in your house that's doable from your app if you have this here and keep in mind it's just an option it's something you can do but it's not mandatory. So let's move on on the back. In the back here, we have a brand new liquid cooling system. We call it X Cooling. And it's something that nobody in the industry have ever done. Probably somebody has done something similar in a GPU graphic card industry or gaming PC stuff. But we have a very similar idea right here. Essentially what this cooling system is, it's an aluminum board and all the different units like MPPT and inverters and other boards are mounted on this board and they release their heat into this board and then this board connected to the radiators here and under radiators there are, there are fans that blowing all the heat up and it's also super silent and things like this it's complex but if you want to learn more about how it's made definitely click in the link in the description and check out our teardown video you will see what it is inside and how it looks and how much engineering goes into this product with the previous generations of our products we've heard a lot of voice of our customers saying they don't really want the product to be too noisy and the fan noise to be too noticeable for them and with the x cooling on delta pro ultra we resolve this problem and we optimize the noise performance so now this product if it outputs or inputs 2000 watts or less the fans will not even spin so it's gonna be like silent completely silent not even a bit after that above 2000 watts there will be some sound of the fans but it's still gonna be a lot more silent than anything we've done before so what is this x fusion thing all about basically before when you're charging your unit and discharging at the same time you're limited. Let's say you're only inputting 1800 watt from the socket, you're limited to withdrawing 1800 watt from your delta unit. So X Fusion basically means you don't have a limit of withdrawing the power from this unit while charging it anymore. Because with the previous products, you were limited to the amount of power you're putting in. So you put in that much, you can only withdraw that much if you wanna do charge and discharge simultaneously. Now with the X Fusion, it's not a problem anymore because the inverters will complement the missing amount of power so you can still charge it with whatever 120 volts or uh, how many watts ever and simultaneously use a full array of the specs available on delta pro ultra you want simultaneously output 240 volt no problem you want to plug in all the outlets and withdraw 7.2 kilowatts from it 
no problem as well. So that's Xfusion. Now let's talk about another important feature of the Delta Pro Ultra, which is UPS. And it's not your package delivery. UPS stands for Uninterrupted Power Supply. With the previous EcoFlow products, we only had EPS, which stands for Emergency Power Supply. So it's kind of a, you know, play of word. But in fact, before our switch over time was around 30 milliseconds. Even you have something running through the Delta 2, for example, or Delta Pro, grid power cuts off, it will take something around 30 milliseconds to switch over to Delta Pro and keep your appliances powered, which is okay for a lot of appliances. But if you want the best of the industry, the most perfecto kind of setup, that's what you're looking at. Backup UPSs and online UPSs. Now, the only difference here is that, as you can see, these units, uh, these outputs right here, we have a couple of backup UPSs. And backup UPS basically will mean that it will take 20 milliseconds or less to switch over. But we also do have an online UPS. An online UPS means zero milliseconds switch over. So it's constantly feeding power in here. You're not gonna lose the connection even for a millisecond with this ones. And same applies to this 30 amp outlet. That also is an online UPS, meaning the zero milliseconds switch over time. And last but not least, if you connect the whole unit through this port right here through the smart home panel, your smart home panels, which over time gonna be around 20 milliseconds as well. You're not gonna even notice the power outage in your house. You probably will get a no notification from your phone, but that's it. So lights not gonna go down and then in some time, like, you know, with the generators, lights go down, it takes some time, or generator realizes, let's kick in, it starts to kick in, and then your lights go up. Nothing like this with Delta Pro Ultra. And of course, with a powerful battery and inverter like this, you would need a powerful solar input. And let's talk a little bit about solar input. So right here with this port, we do have a very similar one that we had on the Delta Pro. So we're talking about 1600 watts of solar input and the maximum voltage of it would be around 150 volts. So VOC between 30 to 150 volts. As I remember, I may be wrong, so see the specs right here. But also this time for, and first time ever, we have added a high voltage PV and PV stands for photovoltaics, as some of you already know. And through this port, we can input another massive 4,000 watts of solar energy. And we're using quite standard MC4 connectors, so a lot of solar panels would fit in here. And for the safety measures, we even have a manual switch right here. So it's extra safe, even if it's a high voltage. Oh, by the way, don't forget that high voltage would mean the VOC of this port is around 80 to 450 volts. And I know for a lot of you, watts and volts and whatnot is a monopoly money. So putting it simply, with the solar panels fully plugged into this input and into that input port, it will take less than two hours to fully recharge this unit. And even you have a bigger array, let's say you have multiple batteries, within one daylight, you definitely will be able to recharge it fully from zero to 100. And there is one more thing called multi-charging on this unit. And that means that you can actually run 1600 watts from here into the battery, but also on top of this, put another 7.2 kilowatt of input to this unit. And that 7.2 kilowatts is shared in between AC input and high voltage input. It lands you at around 8,800 watts of charging from multiple directions all into these batteries, which is quite impressive. And by the way, there is one more perk here. You can actually, use an EV charger to charge your Delta Pro Ultra and dear, it doesn't fit. Okay, what are we gonna do about that? Maybe we're gonna do a little dongle about it. So this one goes in and this one plugs like a normal EV charger. So you will start having some input See the input already start popping up, but because it's fully charged right now, it's probably not gonna put a whole lot in it. 
but if you have an EV, if you have an EV charger, that's just an extra way to charge your Delta Pro Ultra very fast. Another point about Delta Pro Ultra worth mentioning is its durability, because with this heat dissipation system, with this build quality and the battery pack, the way it's designed, this Delta Pro can go in a lot of places where others can. So let's say right now we're filming in the garage and in the winter it will get quite cold in here, but that's not a problem because the battery pack of the Delta Pro Ultra has a heating feature, so you can actually turn this on in your app and never worry about batteries going too cold or something like this. And of course, if you're looking at this kind of energy supply system, you probably wonder how does it connect to your house? How does it interact with your house? But before we show you, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Preferably write us a comment because it really helps with YouTube algorithms and helps with the work that we do here. Now, let's jump right in. And we are now broadcasting from the Harry Potter closet where Delta Pro Ultra is installed. And the reason being is that uh, a lot of people consider that it might be better for Delta Pro to be indoors. And that's understandable because uh, it's designed to be in more of a utilitarian kind of spaces, whether it's garage or closet or in the basement or wherever else. What we have here is part of the smart home panel. And why I'm mentioning this, because normal smart home panel looks like this. And that is a bottom part of it. So you can actually have your smart home panel outside where your main breaker and main panel is and the connection part of it indoors with the Delta Pro. Because why? Because it's convenient. Now, let me show you real quick how you connect it. It's pretty straightforward here. So we plug in this cable into input and output port on a Delta Pro Ultra and the other side uh, goes into the connection part of the smart home panel right here. You will see that right now house is actually running off the grid so you press AC1 button and basically like this this battery is ready to kick in any time. If this house would lose a grid power right now that would kick in automatically straight away or you can also switch it over from your EcoFlow mobile app. Also you have more ports here if you have more than one inverter let's say you have three inverters you can use all three or if you have a Delta Pro array you can also plug it in, in here and use it as a complementary part of Delta Pro Ultra system. And this button right here will just kill the whole smart home panel to cut the power it's like emergency stop Button, so you can emergency put it on pause or resume the work of the smart home panel just in case and just like this you have powered your entire house with the Delta Pro Ultra let's move outside and I'll talk more about smart home panel and here we are outside of the house with the smart home panel too and as you guys can see there are multiple conduits and wires leading towards it because actually the main panel of the house is here right behind this corner. So let's see what we have in here. So we have a main circuit breakers right here. Uh, we got a switch between grid and a generator with this uh, interlock transfer switch. So you can choose one, one or, or another, as well as 12 branch circuit breakers right here. And you can actually track in your app and see in your EcoFlow app the performance of each breaker. Let's say one breaker is only for your AC or only for your certain appliance or certain room. It depends on how you wire your house, right? And you can see how much power it consumes by the breaker and in total. And it's also because it's so standard and straightforward, it's very easy to install. Uh, basically any installer, any electrician will know what to do because it's not too much different from a regular panel, except the fact that it contains a lot of smart features and connectability to the app. And who would know the best about the benefits of Smart Home Panel 2 than the owner of the house and the owner of this very Smart Home Panel, Nathan. Thank Me you, too. Nathan. How's it going? Tell us a little bit about your Smart Home Panel and how you use it and some of the benefits of using this, this product. Yeah, so I, I usually use it to, to offset uh, my solar panels. I have 
32 on the roof to for a grid tide system. Essentially, I use the, the TOU mode to charge it during the day when, when the peak of the sun's out. What is TOU? It's a lot a, of our viewers yeah. actually wondering about TOU. It's the, it's the nomenclature, it's a time of use. You can set it essentially so that during peak times of grid prices, you can discharge your battery, and then during low times in the grid prices, you can charge the battery. How convenient. And so you're using the cheap rate for electricity even during the peak hours. Yeah. Very nice. And then uh, I, I primarily use it for that, just to offset electricity prices. I use the automatic switching over for a lot of my, my critical stuff in the house, like refrigerators and my 3D printers and stuff like that, just to right. make sure they stay running all the time. And it, it snaps over quick. I don't even notice that it even switched over until I look outside and the street lights are off. And I'm like, oh, uh, you're the only <laughs> one in the neighborhood who yeah. actually runs power still. Yeah. Great, and great. The way I look at it too is, uh, versus a generator. I, I can't make more gasoline in my backyard. I mean, I could, but it's not, it's pretty dangerous, I'm sure. Uh, yeah. But uh, at least with electricity, I can make more in my backyard with solar panels. Because you have a whole solar array yeah. on your rooftop. Tell me a little bit about the prioritization of the circuits here. I have it set up so that during like an outage, if it's above 50%, then it powers the entire house. Okay. Not, not a single circuit left right. untouched. And then uh, at around 50%, it shuts down things like the bedrooms, like TVs that aren't, we aren't using and it prioritizes lights and mm -hmm. the refrigerators to make sure our food stays good and that we're comfortable. Yeah, it makes sense because, you know, you might only need one TV or none of the TVs yeah. when the power is running low. Yeah, of course. You so don't you be... don't have to adjust it constantly. It just does it automatically. You set Correct. it up once in your app and it rolls. Yep, all the time. How uh, convenient. One time setup and then you're done. You can uh, hook up a 50 amp, 240 volt generator, mm -hmm. any standard generator. Um, to the, the outlet and it'll power. So we have, we have yeah. an inlet box for, for the generator here. Correct, yeah. So you plug a normal generator cord and it just works in just, case. Just the same way as, as a grid at that point. Yeah, how convenient. Then just switch over here. Yep, and you have this nice handy little interlock. You can't switch a mod at the same time, so you just yeah, lift so that up. Yeah, so there is no conflict. You know, Nathan, a lot of our users actually experiencing power outages due to the extreme weather conditions. Yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, extreme weather conditions and how uh, Delta Pro Ultra and Smart Home Panel 2 interacts with that. So yeah, not only is there the, the automatic switchover, but another nice thing is that it has a feature called Storm Guard. Mm -hmm. um, I've actually seen it kick in a few times and it's actually been pretty helpful. When there's a weather event happening in your area within the next like six hours, based on an internet, like an internet news outlet, then the system will automatically default the charging to make sure your battery is fully charged for the okay. event instead of discharging. So let's say I know that not too far away from here there is some kind of storm coming yeah. and it potentially may influence the grid power. Yeah. So you don't have to consider any of that because Smart Home Panel 2 it does, does it for that you. for you together yeah. with EcoFlow app and it fully charges the batteries? Yep, fully charged. So just in case grid cuts off Yep. You not got into that situation where you only get like 50% or 20% left, but also the power cut yeah. off for some reason and there is no solar input because it's raining and stuff like this. Yeah, essentially. And then on top of that, once the, the storm event's done, it'll switch back to the schedule that you have set up or the TOU mode. Great. So that it just starts going back to normal again. Well, great insight, Nathan. Thank you so much for introducing your smart home panel. Yeah, thank you. And if you guys want to be like Nathan, definitely go ahead and check out our Facebook groups. It's called EcoFlow Delta Group with 60,000 members that are discussing their Delta Series products, how they use it, why they use it, and basically sharing their knowledge with one another. And that would be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button, write us a comment, and check out the links in the description because with that link, you can get a coupon and save yourself over a thousand bucks on this particular product. I'll see you in another video. Bye.